Hey there guys, and welcome to Bitrip Runner 2! I'm not going to say the full name of the title, because that would be really arsy. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be playing some Bitrip Runner 2. That's how this one's going to be going. Uh, I mean, I may as well get on with it. That's what I'm going to be doing. Put? The Welcome Wonderland. I've, I've put some time into the game, so obviously I've got some things done. But, you know, nothing wrong with trying to clear up the levels I've already got done. So we're just progressing. Realize. I'm gonna kind of skip over that. I wanna just get with the game. Have fun playing the game, you know. I'm probably not gonna beat all 25 retro challenges. Go perfect. If I do beat all 25 retro challenges, it will probably be in like an extra video. That I will likely piece together slowly. Very, very slowly. Yeah, I'm playing as Doc Fetus, because why not? He has he has a sword blade. That's that's pretty badass. You gotta give him that. What's he got a nifty little top hat? And God bless top hats. There we go, we're ultra. There's extra. Get that sweet red line. There we go. Perfect. Right, because I didn't perfect this the first time around when I originally played this. Oh, didn't get the, didn't get the bullseye. That's, that's rough. Well, you know, I mean, nonetheless, perfect. Perfect with ball in ass. Wait, you know, just skipped over the. Uh, Skipped over the checkpoint, she was like, sod it! Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm not really like beating high scores with any friends. Actually, no, I've got a decent set of friends, but they've got significantly better scores than me. Even, even Scumbag J Smith ODI probably has better scores than me on most of these levels. So, you know, you gotta kind of roll with that fact. It's just the nature of things. See, I don't want to hit that checkpoint, so I need to get that gold. And now I've got to deal with not getting that level perfect. Which is gonna piss me off quite a bit. I missed another gold, so fuck it. We're only gonna be getting 37 out of 39 anyway. It's really not good enough to me, but you gotta roll with it. No cannon. Disappointment. I skipped over plain weather because I did that perfectly. Oopsie daisy. I won't, I won't be skipping over any more levels, that was kind of just an instinct thing. That was kind of an accident, and I will try and avoid doing that if you fucked up. First mistake. Now I'm trying to focus so I don't make another mistake. Now that I've been showboating by commentating. Kinda don't wanna fuck it up again. Also that hill in the background has such a creepy looking face. No doubt. No. Ball up.
Well, that was lucky. I didn't think I was going to put that one off. Holy shit! Perfect! That was so very close to failing. So much there. That was not like a particularly well planned or anything, bro. I just kinda. Woo, I accidentally won. Not too bad. Cloud Surfer. Yeah. Pretty sure I've already got the chest here, but you know we'll still take a solid route. Be the sweet like pull off wheelie. Probably shouldn't try to show off then. The fact that I was trying to show off kind of screwed it up. That fucked up. Gotta like not be that arrogant. Because I can't say like a practice bitch or runner two enough that I can get away with doing that. Balls it up. Restart anyway. It's not like I don't know I can do this perfectly or anything. I have done it perfectly. I'm well aware that I can. That's not the. Uh, it's not the issue. It's the issue of actually making sure I do do it perfectly. I'm not sure, but because I know I know I can do this level perfectly, so I'm well aware of the fact that I should be doing it perfectly. I did it perfect first time, so why I'd fuck it up second or third time, I don't know. Yo look. Didn't do it perfectly, but that was it wasn't the route I took last time anyway. To be fair. Sweet skates, bro. Yeah, see, I've also technically already beaten the key vault in the uh, in the first world, so I can, I can, you know, I can say with fair honesty that I can take all the keys. That's not like an issue. See, I might not take the bottom route actually, because I've already got the costume you get down there. It's not like a super necessary thing. It's not gonna be like in later levels where I'm tr sort of trying to complete things as we go along. I have obviously already beaten the key vault, as I said, so I've already gone back to this level and got on the costume. And I didn't fuck up like that. Originally, otherwise I wouldn't have got anywhere. But sometimes you just not very good as Dr. Fierce. That's just the truth of it. Gotta say, the musical nature of this game. Really, really sweet and catchy. When you get those sweet little sequences. And the music starts to build up as you get your, uh, you get those sort of cross things. Even if it changes weirdly when you get extra.
Perfect. Not like hard perfect with a costume, but perfect enough. Nailed it. Success. Cirrus Circus. Jason with ODI there sneaking on the uh, sneaking on the leaderboard. Can't sound very good at these trace ones. I tend to be out of sort of rhythm. As a, as a drummer, it's not about like a continuous thing. So it's about like keeping the rhythm as a whole. Keeping the beat. Because to be fair, you know, I, I kind of have that kind of uh, natural skill bias towards sort of keeping timing with the game. As a uh, an okay drummer. He says that as he then like crashes into a step. The smoothest of ways. I was holding A. But, okay, game. Sure. Sure. I got awesome on one of the spins, so that was impressive. For me, at least, that was impressive. I'm sure, other people can do that plenty of the time, but not me. Sweet musical pattern, bra. That was so close. So close to a bullseye. Almost like hurts how close that was. Doing the sweet kicks. Three saw out. Fly after it. This is where my ability in the game starts to fade away and I'm gonna be fading a lot more. I just been fucking up the timing. I made no late excuse on that one. Okay, I probably should have dicked about doing a kick there. That was uh that was my bad. Okay, I held A. No, I'm sure. There are times that I feel like my inputs on this game are uh, not quite received, but I kind of deal with that. It's kind of like a slight spec on otherwise really fun little game. I already say it's really fun because I haven't hit the really punishing annoying bits of the game yet. When I when I hit that wall I imagine I'm gonna hit that wall pretty hard. It's not gonna be a nice one. Cloud eight and a half. We got a chest apparently.
That's that's a tight gold. That is a uh, that's a split second kicker. Oh, and I just fucked up the. I uh, mentally screwed up what I was supposed to be doing, which is not the kind of mistake you want to make. Grand scheme of things, probably want to kind of like you know make the correct move. Oh my! I, I did the little duck, duck combo perfectly, but I screwed up the really easy gold beforehand. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. Right back to the start. So I wasn't too happy because I missed that gold. Now that I'm actually like on course to do perfect, right, gonna probably won't like screw with the challenge bonus. I kind of just hopped through the ground there for a second. It kind of just let me do my thing. That's uh, not in part of the game that might have been. Okay, what? I'm fairly sure I ate that. It's gonna be a lot of me just complaining about the controls because I screw up somewhere. I'm one of those kind of people, yeah. One of them scumbags that blames the controls of the game, screwing it up. Just, just blame input lag. That's what I've learned. If something goes wrong, blame the input lag. Perfect, there we go. Might not have got the retro pack, but nonetheless, perfect. Oh come on, that was that's a ball though. Get it not you to dick me like that. There's no need to mess with it like that again. Yeah, it's only got 50 gold. I said, remember, it's being even more of a pain. Perfect. Probably the one time I'm ever going to get that one. I so ducked there. I think there's something about like, you got to land the jumps. Or just duck to start with, but fuck it up so you miss one of the golds. So the entire purpose of learning how to specifically do those jumps is uh, just, you know, for naught. Then... Then once you nailed all those hard bits, you just screwed up on some stairs. Which, you know, obviously, the sim some of the simplest things. I shouldn't have kept ducking there. That was, uh, that was my bad.
As you can see there, I've already got the treasure on this level. It's not too much of a worry. If I can get perfect, then I'll be alright. Oh, there we go. Got the perfect. Already had the treasure, got the perfect. It's all good. Oh, that was uh, it's a bit low. Not too happy about that one. It's probably the last level we'll do. I want to keep these vids. I want to keep them tight enough. If I do maybe a world in two vids, that's probably fine. And to be fair, this is a fairly hefty level anyway. And not one I can say I'm like amazing at. As you can see there. Perfect. All of a sudden nailing them. That hill in the background is giving me a riot. Well, what is it though? Hmm. The other hill on the right is like. Mm. I like your soul. They're like between the two of them. They're rather creepy looking. Such a happy sort of cotton candy environment, they're rather disturbing. But yeah, guys, I am gonna. Go tie the episode up here. Obviously, let's start on the next episode. We'll, uh, we'll be starting back with Aridale, right? Probably go all the way to the boss. Or it's maybe like a few levels away, but nonetheless. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.